Hi friends, in today's video, we are going to see the concept of advanced warehouse management, some of the key terminologies which is being used. So in yesterday's episode one, we saw what are what is basically a warehouse management process is and uh, why this warehouse management processes need to be followed. And uh, we got some basic understanding of what are all the capabilities available in Dynamics 365 advanced warehouse management. And also we saw why how we need to distinguish between uh, standard warehousing or advanced warehousing in our in our whenever we go for implementation projects right so so in in continuation to episode one in today's episode two we'll be see looking at thing looking at some of the important concepts like load release to arrow shipment waves what are all these because at a very high level we should understand the basics of these terminologies in order to get further into our episode 3 4 and 5 because we need to further deep dive into the configurations which are required and then uh, and then only we will be able to do uh, subsequent transactions using the advanced arrows functionalities right so let's quickly get into this and if you want to get regular updates please do follow my profile if you are in linkedin or if you are in youtube please do follow my channel so i have, for the purpose of common understanding i just made a small presentation so kind so i'll just share my screen for the presentation section so we were discussing yesterday about the basics of warehouse management right so in today's topic we are going to focus only on the key terminologies which are used within the advanced warehouse management so first of all the what we need to understand is whenever in during the entire series whenever i refer to wms it means warehouse management system so in in d365 wherever if wms is mentioned it refers to the advanced warehouse management processes which being followed across the system and whenever we mention it as wma it refers to warehouse mobile application because the key concept of uh, warehouse management process is using the warehouse mobile application where you have a scanning device or a mobile app using which you perform the work inside your warehouse. So, so that is the difference between WMS and WMA. And uh, another important concept as far as WM, warehouse management system WMS is concerned is using the license plate. So there are a lot of uh, I would say there are various kinds of understandings uh, to the license plate as a concept. But uh, to keep it simple, I would say the definition for this is license plating is a barcode reader system. So basically a palletization, because if you look at Acceptor, there was a concept of palletization, which is now uh, have been updated as license plate in D365. So if you are using license plating in is a bar basically a barcode system or a unique id for palletization palletization means the process of packaging the materials in the pallets so like uh, whenever we store it in the warehouses in the shelves it will have multiple pallet multiple pallet storages in each pallet there can be multiple boxes of finished goods or raw material which is available right so that groups together any products in a pallet and marks it with a unique number so you can see that every Every if you can see this is a rack and the shelf and uh, each and every every uh, every cell has a bin location and you can see there is a location ID right and this location consists of uh, respective pallets so basically these pallets group the items which are available and uh, available within the pallets um, it may be uh, some in some cases uh, the organization group it based on the batches or uh, in some cases based on the variance it, there, there will be a grouping which happens so for this grouping a unique id is assigned so the important point here is user don't need to scan individual products in a pallet to move and move, move or process the material so let's say this pallet contains 30 boxes of um, um, maybe mobile phones or uh, playstations so i don't need to scan or process each and every uh, item in the within the palette so right by using the license plate control i will be able to have absolute control of movement and the uh, transfer of these materials um, within the barrows so that is the purpose of using license plate control so basically the palletization whenever we say license plate control it is basically refers to the palletization where we have a pallet twice tracking which will have the license plate uh, enabled and uh, and using the license plate we will be able to control the movement of the materials for the entire batch of uh, entire batch of the product right 
so this is why we go for license plating and of course there is another concept called inventory status using which we will be able to make it available or block the inventories available in your uh, respective storage locations right so this is the basic uh, of uh, license plate which we call it as lp and then to move on there is another concept the uh, other important concepts like uh, first of all what is called as rtw which is release to arrows release to arrows is the process of making inventory ready for dispatch processing so this may sound simple but the point here is whenever you create a sales order from a head office let's imagine a scenario like this you are sitting in a head office and you are processing the sales order and your warehouse is almost 10 miles away from your head office and uh, you are actually authenticating to the warehouse that this can be processed for dispatched uh, so that is the whole idea of using release to warehouse the moment you release to warehouse then only it can be picked and picked packed and dispatched so how it can be picked and packed and dispatched by using the load lines and shipments when you release or an orders to the warehouse the system creates the load lines and shipments so release the two warehouse rtw basically means you are authenticating to the warehouse that these order lines can be processed picked packed and dispatched to your customers so that's the whole idea of release to warehouse but these are specific to the order lines but here this is where the concept of wave, come, wave comes when you have a collection of order lines um, let's say this is against a single sales order but you have a collection of order lines based on uh, some grouping logic you create a wave template and then based on which you want to process those order lines to the for shipment or load in those cases a wave is used in case of a singular singular uh, processing of lines it generally it refers to release to arrows but if you are going to go for a collection of order lines or sales orders or uh, processing the order lines for uh, kanban or production whatever it is in those cases for grouping purpose a wave is used now the question is what is load or shipment so basically um, so i'll just move this yeah was a shipment you just need to imagine right now a shipment is a group of order lines for the same customer or same delivery so we talked about the order lines and uh, how the collection of order lines can be processed but a shipment whenever we in d365 whenever we refer uh, terminology shipment it refers to the group of order lines going to the same customer or to a same delivery address you cannot uh, have two different delivery addresses in the same shipment in those cases you need to have separate shipment ids a single shipment can contain multiple sales orders let's say i can have sales order one two three but all these three sales orders goes to the same customer or the same delivery address so this is very very important so that's where the concept of uh, then that's where the concept of load comes in first of all you need to understand shipment because all multiple sales orders going to the same customer we can tag it to your ship, single shipment id right when we talk about load load is basically a group of order lines that are grouped together and that are typically go out on a single truck you can imagine load as a truck or a container or a, 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 a load carrying vehicle or a, a courier service or whatever that carries your um, finished good product um, to the end customer the mode of transport i would say simply as uh, the mode of transport um, so the load can have one or many shipments so first what we saw is release two arrows which will have a one order line a wave can have multiple order lines and multiple sales orders can be processed which goes to a single customer or single delivery is called shipment and multiple shipments multiple shipments can be processed in a single load a load can have one or many shipments so that's what so everything is linked to each other um, so physical shipping containers basically load refers to the physical shipping container so i have also mentioned like consider a load to be the object that will be used to transport the delivery it can be a physical container a rail car or a, a, a minivan or a or a or a truck which is actually used to transport your um, finished finished good products for dispatchers so using the load template we will be able to give dimensions for the load based on the capacity d365 will plan your uh, load and route so so that is very very important so these are the important key terminologies 
but still if you are confused with what i said because all of these seems to be um, so very at a, a descriptive level so i just made a small flow chart um, let's go back and forth like i said first let's say rtw is release to arrows so release to arrows basically means i created a sales order one I, pro I process it from the head office that uh, I, that I'm authenticating it to uh, release two arrows for processing. Then it will be picked and packed, and it can be shipped. And the uh, load is basically, like I said, is the is the mode of transport which is used for delivering the uh, products. So let's say in case of wave, it can be two, three, four. I can combine three, four sales orders lines. And then uh, release to varos can be processed as which we generally call it in the D3 terms as a waving. When we do waving, release all three sales orders. All three sales orders are simultaneously waved to your varos. So that uh, for all those three sales orders, the varos person can perform the work to complete the um, picking and packing and then shipment. So let's say for all these three or sales orders, and then uh, we have sales order five, six, seven, eight. All four, I want to create a wave. And for the wave which are created using the wave template, uh, user will be able to pick and pack the material. But which material to pick and where to pick, what I need to pick and where to pick is primarily decided by the work. Work decides what action you performed, and location directive defi defines where it needs to be performed. So location directive basically defines the pick and put operations. So the work defines what action need to be performed. The location directive defines where it has to be performed, right? So now you have created sales orders, you waived it, and then it reaches the warehouse where you perform the picking, packing, and containerization. And then now whatever the sales orders which go to the same delivery, let's say sales order one to sales order four goes to the same location one. In that case, it goes in shipment one, but sales order five to eight, it goes to location two. Then it goes in shipment. It creates a separate shipment ID shipment two. So that's why these are grouped together and these four are grouped together because it means these four sales orders are going to same location and these four sales orders are going to the same location. So, so those two are created in a separate uh, shipment ID. So that's why I said in my previous slide that uh, if you can see, um, Yep, a shipment is a group of order lines for the same customer or same delivery. Okay, but it doesn't mean that it should go in one truck. Let's say the load, the truck can go to location A and then it can go to location B and then it can go to location C. So the location A first it reaches and uh, unloads all the shipment and then it goes to location B, it unloads the shipment to like that it can happen right so that's why the shipment one and two can go in the same load one so we don't need to create separate two different loads for the same so these are the different um, terminologies or i would say the concepts which are used in dynamics 365 because before getting into the actual transactions we should know what is the purpose of these terminologies in d365 so now primarily we understood what is released to arrows how we are waving it what this is the concept of waving and uh, and what is the work which will be performed picking packing and uh, containerization is the work what action will be performed where it will be performed it is defined under location directive and once the work is completed then the shipment happens shipment one and shipment two the shipment id will be created for the same delivery or the same customer location and multiple shipments can go in a single load um, that will be basically planned by their transportation officer or uh, the dispatch team who coordinates with the logistics so basically load refers to the mode of delivery it can be a truck bus car van whatever it may be uh, trail so that uh, you are basically defining the uh, load as uh, mode of transportation right so these are the important concepts and then um, talking further about uh, some of the other key terminologies also we talked about wave and then we talked about work and we talked about location directives in simple terms wave template defines how your work need to be performed and work template defines what work need to be performed and location directives define where the work need to be performed 
so this is the simple definition which i find it to be uh, easy for us to understand so you need to you are creating a wave template in order to understand how your work need to be performed in your warehouse um, for your purchase orders or sales orders uh, or your transfer orders whatever it may be and work basically consists of what is the pick and put operations which need to be performed and the location directive define in which location you are going to perform those pick and put operations for your sales orders or transfers or cycle count or whatever it may be so location directives will help you in that and load template like i said a load is basically the mode of transport but the load template defines what is the capacity maximum weight that is allowed uh, maximum storage capacity that is available inside the truck so information about the equipment used for transportation that's what load template defines and we talked about least to arrows or uh, least to wave it's a waving concept and it's not wave it's a waving and then uh, we all, we also need to know picking and containerization how uh, we need to pick the material and pack it containerization in this way primarily means the packing of uh, the finished good products and then we also saw the license plate uh, because license plate is basically the palletization where you are grouping the items and based on which you will be able to process for the entire batch because in, in it doesn't make sense to scan each and every item in the pallet and then uh, move it across the location right so so these are the some of the important key terminologies and there are further more terminologies which are available probably we may need to cover it in the upcoming sessions mm. so if you remember in the previous episode we said how we need to what are the factors which we need to consider if uh, we want to differentiate between standard warehousing and advanced warehousing and you might be wondering why i mentioned complex difficult high because these are the reasons because there are some of the advanced concepts which are available in in case of advanced warehouse management so the, so that's why i have mentioned all these because configuring and then uh, um learning all these itself takes time so this cannot be used for short term projects um where we need absolute control of your inventory right so so like i said uh, in the episode 3 we will be covering uh, about the termin of further more uh, concepts of terminologies available in warehouse management and there uh, this will be covered in part 2 and then um, followed by we will get into the configurations of item warehousing um reservation hierarchy unit sequence group some of the other concepts which are available in advanced warehouse management hope you had a le- good learning today so please feel free to go back past the video go back and forth now to understand about some of the these important concepts because without these basic understanding it doesn't it will not make sense for us to get into the transactions and understand about uh, advanced warehouse management in dynamics 365 So that's it for today. Hope to see you in another interesting episode about warehouse management tomorrow. Thank you. If you want to get regular updates, as usual, as I say, please do follow my profile uh, to get regular updates.